the dreamer. Jacob had 12 sons, but he loved his son Joseph the most. He gave Joseph a special brightly colored coat. Joseph's brothers were jealous of him. They hated him. Joseph also had special dreams. In my dream, we were tying up bundles of wheat, he said, and your bundles bowed down to mine. Joseph's brothers hated him even more. Joseph had another dream. The sun, the moon, and eleven stars bowed down before me. His father and brothers grumbled. Are you saying you will rule over us? One day, Joseph's brothers were in the fields watching their sheep. They saw him coming to see them. They planned to kill him and put an end to all his dreams. It would be wrong to kill our brother, said Reuben. Let's throw him in this empty well. So they tore off Joseph's special coat and threw him into the well. Ishmaelite traders came by on their way to Egypt. Let's sell Joseph as a slave to the Ishmaelites, suggested Judah. So the brothers sold Joseph for 20 pieces of silver. The brothers dipped Joseph's coat in goat's blood and showed it to Jacob. My son is dead, he wept. Meanwhile, Joseph was taken to Egypt, but God was with Joseph. In Egypt, the Ishmaelites sold Joseph to Potiphar, one of Pharaoh's captains. God blessed Joseph and made him successful. Potiphar put Joseph in charge of his whole household. Joseph served Potiphar well. Potiphar's wife wanted Joseph to sin against God. Joseph refused, so she lied about him. Potiphar believed her, and Joseph was thrown into prison. In prison, Joseph met two of Pharaoh's servants. They each had dreams, and God showed Joseph their meaning. Joseph's explanations came true. The cupbearer was released, and the baker was hanged. Two years later, Pharaoh had two troubling dreams. The cupbearer remembered what Joseph had done for him and told Pharaoh. So Pharaoh sent for Joseph and told him his dreams. God showed Joseph the meaning of Pharaoh's dreams. For seven years a lot of food will grow, said Joseph. So store up food because seven years of famine will follow. Pharaoh was impressed by Joseph's wisdom, so he put Joseph in charge of storing up all the food. Apart from Pharaoh, no one in Egypt was more powerful than Joseph. Joseph's brothers went to Egypt to buy food. They bowed before Joseph, but did not recognize him. When he saw that they had changed, he told them who he was. Others were terrified. You meant to harm me, Joseph said. But God used that for good. Bring all of our family to Egypt. We will have plenty to eat. <laughs>